but Demetrius decided when he was 13 years old to become an organ donor, and I was just really proud that he, that he got the, they went through it, and, and uh, Russell's family too, that they go through with that, it's not an easy thing to do, and, and uh, you know, there was, there was three kids murdered, and uh, there'll be 16 lives saved by this, each, each person can donate, I mean, the organs will be eight lives from each person being saved, and that's maybe out of all this tragedy, we can come up with something positive. And um, how do you feel tying into today with the march and everything? How do you feel I, like... I, I woke up this morning and felt like I had to go up town and take the walk with them. So I think there's a healing and talk with people. And Jeff, talk to you about like your uh, sister-in-law. You know, um, she's, you a, know pop, she's the, a powerful woman. The, like like the forgiveness she has, you know, for that the That comes from God. I mean, you know, and, and she, she's forgiven the guy. A lot of people think that's crazy, but um, as she put it, you know, you that hate in your heart, it'll just grow into something that ends up destroying you. And and, and uh, I got to give her a lot of credit for being as strong as she is. I mean, really. I mean. <laughs> How do you feel like everybody? You guys are all coping at this point. Pretty good. You know, the circus hasn't left town yet. You know, we've got this whole media circus, and we haven't. And you know, all the we've got a lot of stuff to do when somebody passes away. You're in the hospital. Um, all the stuff that's going on. I don't, I don't know if it's all get home yet either. You know, wait till next week. The funeral's been had. You know, things may crash. Can you give me an idea, a sense of um, Demetrius as a personality. Uh, <coughs> it's okay. Excuse me. He was just a great kid. I mean, he was like every teenage boy, you know. He played video games. He was a real workout nut. Um, he played football. He kind of had a few problems, you know, with grade wise. He was working hard to come back into it. Um, he worked out five days a week when I had a full gym in his garage. Uh, worked out a lot. Played video games. He's a, he's a boy. I mean, he's just a wonderful, he's a wonderful boy. Loved his family. Uh, Did he ever talk about what what his plans were for the future? What he wanted to do? I, I don't know if he really had many. Plans. How many sixteen-year-olds really have a, you know having that big a plan? Uh, you know what he's, I don't know. I don't know what to say. He's just a great kid. You know, like all. I'm sure they all were. I mean, you know, I, uh, Rusty was a neighbor of ours. 12 or 10, 12 years, so I just hit this really at home because not only knowing one of them, but two of them. What's his personality like? He was just a normal kid, you know, loved to go out and roughhouse and play, and, you know, he hunted, 